This is Marissa with the Umbrian Sewist, and this is Friday Sews. Thank you for everyone who's coming back to my channel, and for anyone who's new, thanks for joining. First, I'd like to say thank you to Jen from today in Jen's Sewing Room for starting the hashtag. Uh, this is an opportunity for Sewists to uh, come on a weekly basis, tell you a little about, about what we have sewn in the past week, what we plan to sew, and um, sometimes a little bit of life and other topics thrown in. So I haven't, uh, this is my first Friday sews for a couple of weeks. Last Friday, I was traveling with work, and so I had put up a video about some of the things that I wanna get sewn up for some of the challenges. And uh, so yeah, so uh, in the last couple of weeks, I have started doing a lot more sewing again after quite a long period where I had lots of guests and had been doing some traveling and just hadn't gotten much sewn up, which was very sad and I missed it. Um, and so yes, I am back in the swing of things and have um, got quite a few things to share with you. So um, to start off with, I would like to show you, a uh, well, I have one here, but I've sewn two of them. And if you saw my last video, which came out a couple of days ago, I don't remember, but it's a fabric call from a Polish company whose name I cannot pronounce. And they do beautiful fabric, but they also do um, a line of different patterns where they basically print the pattern on the fabric and you can pick from lots of different prints and um, they're really reasonably priced. And my son needed um, some new bathing suits and it was quite fun. He went on and he picked the patterns he liked and I received them and got them sewn up. So I wanted to share one with you. Now I did take a photo of my son wearing it, but my husband pointed out that when I cut his head off, it basically looked like I was taking a picture of his crotch, which was inappropriate. So I'm going to physically show you one of the bathing suits. So this is one of them. The other one is sort of like an orangey reddy color. Um, the quality of the Lycra is fantastic, really thick, really, really nice. And um, the construction method was also really cool because basically what it means is the way it was constructed because there is a lining means there's no side seams exposed. There's no crotch seam exposed and the only seam is the back on the pants. So you can see that, um, yeah, they're really cute. Now these are the type of bathing suit that people wear here in Italy, which are the rather small ones now. Obviously, I'm American and boys typically wear baggy sort of swimming trunks, but not here. They wear these tighty trunks. But anyway, this is lovely. And it was super quick, super easy to sew up, beautiful fabric to work with, and really, really enjoyed them, which makes me very excited um, because I bought leggings for myself in the same style with different patterns obviously and the quality of the lycra is the same so i'm really looking forward to getting those made up but yeah i mean if you watch the um, fabric haul video each of these costs like six or seven euros um so really good value and far better quality than anything i could purchase because um he did have a pair of uh, a swimming trunks or shorts like this that i purchased in just like super thin bad quality so that's the first item. And like I said, I made two of those for him. So the second thing I got sewn up are the, and I'll take it out here. It's this um, free pattern by Lore Piar. Don't know. It's scrap, scrap sporty thong. So I really like this because basically you've got two pieces here and then you've got one, two, three, and then the band. And I thought it was a fantastic way to use up scraps. Now, and also the key with this is there's no elastic, okay? Which um, I thought is a cool idea. And actually, you can see here the line drawings. Now, I made a pair, and these are them. And they're wrinkly because they came out of the wash. Um, and whilst they are extremely comfortable because there's no elastic, I think it's because there is no elastic that I don't love them. Um, because I think elastic is kind of important in underwear. Um, but yeah, so they're super comfortable, but I don't think I'll be making anymore because like I said, the sort of elastic for me is, feels important. 
Um, but I can see how, like, if I could find a pattern with no elastic and sort of like a boy short type of thing, they'd be great for sleeping in because here in Italy, it is hot in the summer and I don't have air conditioning. So that could be something I would look for. Um, but the pattern um, is great. The instructions are um, sort of a little Instagram video, which were super, you know, super easy to follow. Um, and it is a fantastic scrap buster. So if a lack of elastic does not bother you, I would definitely give these a try. Um, from a size perspective, the pattern goes from a, that goes from a waist of 19.6 inches. Is that possible? don't know. It's a very weird size chart. There's two groups. So, sorry, waist of 22.1 to a waist of 38.5. And then another size chart that goes from a waist of 42.5 to a waist of 62.2. Um, but yes, it's, but it's very size inclusive, easy to use. I recommend it. If non-elasticated underwear is appealing to you. So that is the second thing I made. Um, the third item that I made was a gift for a friend of my son's, and um, I don't have the item anymore, I have a picture. Picture will go here. But it is the lovely Made By Me Girls Top, and I made this one here, as you can see from the item. I used lovely fabric from a fabric surprise box, and it's just a lovely pattern. Really, really lovely for girls. Cute ruffle detail, really nice, very professional sort of finish. And I'm very pleased with it. And um, yeah, this goes from a size two to 10 years old. And um, the little young lady was, uh, I made her the size six to seven. She is tall, so, and she just turned seven. So I do hope that that fits. But I did really make it for her to wear this summer, just based on the fact that it's sleeveless. Um, but yeah, highly recommend this pattern company and this pattern. And I think that she liked the shirt. Now, the last item is the favorite of the items that I got finished up in the couple, last couple weeks. And it is the Zoe Dolman Top and Dress. Now, if any of you have seen previous videos, you know that I first made just the top right here in a um like a floral watercolory um fabric and i felt like the cuffs were a little tight um and so i basically graded and made i say cuffs because it's got this um sort of detail here and i just felt like it was like too tight so i graded out made a second top really liked that and then used that to make this dress okay now Sinclair patterns have a really nice size range um, most of all of theirs uh, follow the same size range so bust of 31 and a half waist of 23.6 hips of 33.9 going to a bust of 50.4 waist of 44.1 and hips of 53.5 so I will put a picture here of me wearing the item but I have it here as well and it is in this lovely Evalekin design um, seaweed print. It's got this nice drawstring. Now I don't love the drawstring that I selected, but that's all I had in my stash. So I may purchase something new, maybe in this um, mauve color to look a bit nicer. But you've got the arm cuffs here. And I did lengthen it slightly, but I think when I make it next, because I'm definitely making another one, I'm going to lengthen it maybe another two inches because I like it to fall just like a little bit below my knee. Um, but I absolutely love this. I love the, the construction for the drawstring, um, which is really cool. I'll show it to you. Um, you basically create a casing, which you can sort of see here. Um, it's a bit fiddly, but the finish was absolutely lovely. Um, and I adore this and I shall be making more because here in the hot weather, this is a really nice thing to throw on. Don't have to think about matching anything. 
Um, and I do wear little shorts underneath as well. So it's super comfortable. Um, so I highly, highly recommend this pattern. Now, plans for the week. Um, I am almost done with a bathing suit, which I will show you, excuse me. So I'm almost done with another Cottis Low. I'm making this one here, just a very str standard one piece bathing suit. Um, and I am just, I always line them. So I'm basically got the two, um, the lining and the outer, and I'm just pinning them together and then we'll do the elastic and they'll be done. Uh, the lining is the same as the out outer because I didn't have any lining fabric and I had extra of this. But yeah, this is a lovely um, fabric from another Polish company called Mikey. And uh, yeah, really nice with toucans and pretty tropical flowers. So that's almost done. So I'm definitely getting that done this weekend. My son has indicated that he would like to do, learn how to sew. And so he has selected that he would like to make these the Waves and Wild High Tide Trousers. I am gonna cut them off and make them shorts. Well, he is, cause he's helping me make them. And um, so yes, I've got the pattern traced off and he has selected this robot fabric. So nice thin cotton. And um, yeah, we'll be having a go at those, hopefully this weekend. And then I am really focused on the items for the challenges. The priority are the two items for my, the boys. So my husband, a hoodie, which is the um, Sinclair pattern Monterey, which I have here. Um, if you've seen my um, video, I won't talk too much about this to bore anyone, but if you saw my video where I talk about the challenges, this is a hoodie I'm making, making him a, this version without this little pocket. And I, uh, it's been cut out for a while, um, but I was waiting on some more of the fabric because I didn't have enough. So I needed to get some more to cut out the hood section. Um, so that is what I'm gonna do for him. And then for my son, I am making a robe, which is this robe here in a lovely waffle knit fabric. And again, um, I had some other fabric and didn't have enough. So I'm going through a bit of a period where maybe I don't, I should like plan what I'm going to make before I order the fabric. But, and then the other two items that I am hoping to get sewn up as a priority, I would like to do the sew fruity challenge and I am going to use this. It's all wrinkled. Um, sort of turquoisey fabric with gold strawberries. And I wanna make another one of my, the um, Palermo top, which I can find hopefully in the So Beautiful book, which is, uh, here we go. The lovely lady who makes the itch to stitch patterns. So That's this book. And this is the top here. Um, and so I hope to get that sewn up and then as I talk about this, I'm like, what are you thinking? You're not gonna get all this done. Um, but if I get all of that done, I know I'm off camera, I'm coming back. If I get all of that done, I've got two t-shirts. I'm going quick because I've already talked about this before and I don't wanna bore anyone. The Rockford Raglan and this combo. I'm just gonna make the standard t-shirt, which is this guy here. This comes in extra small to 5X, as usual. Love and Oceans have a very good size range. And then the last item is another t-shirt, which is the Vivace Dolman. Again, extra small to 5X in this grayish jersey, which isn't that attractive or seasonally appropriate, but it was a uh, item I got in a fabric surprise box and I just would like to use up these bits and bobs because I'm running out of space. You can see the fabric behind me taunting me, but I don't have much space. So, and other than that, the plan is to stay cool. It's gonna get up to 36 degrees next week, which is going to be hot. 
we don't have air conditioning because in the evenings it does cool off and we're on a little bit of a hill. So you just open the windows up and the house just cools right off. And so sleeping is never a problem. So it seems sort of silly to get air conditioning. Actually, my husband has air conditioning in his office, um, which is the only uh, room which is on the second floor of our house because it gets extremely hot in the summer and cool and very cold, stays kind of cold in the winter. So we did get him a unit up there so he could do that, keep it warm and hot at the appropriate season. But that is about it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope everybody's well. I hope you're all getting some sewing done um, as we move into the summer. But thank you so much and I will speak to you soon. Bye.